Yeah, hello everyone. Myself Maruti. Welcome you all to this math video session. So in this video, I am continuing the same topic as I have been dealing from many days. That's nothing but linear equation under two variables, right? So when I am talking about two variables, you have to remember that I am going to discuss about two unknown things. That is two concepts, right? So obviously we connected to the real life application dealing with rectangles, angles. Cost, uh, something like speed or the distance traveled or whatever it might be. But in this concept, I'm going to discuss regarding something like a currency, right? Getting into a bank, uh, asking the person, this is what I need. I need in terms of this currency. That is what my planning is. So to build up that one, so I came to a question here. Just focus here, right? Rubina went to a bank to withdraw. Rupees 2000. So the target is Rubina is the name of the person, right? He, she is the customer, she is a depositor in the bank. She went into the bank and she is asking that she needs this much of money, that is Rupees 2000. Right, right. And what's her condition? In, in, in what is the in terms of what she needs that money? That's the question. She asked the cashier to give the cash in rupees 50 and rupees 100. No. So everything she needs in only in terms of only 50 rupees and 100 rupees notes. She doesn't want 200 rupees notes or 500 or 2000. No. She needs what is her purpose? We don't know. But she needs only in terms of 50 rupees notes and 100 rupees notes but you have to remember she needs the total of 2000 rupees who is she rubina right so she got 25 notes yes the cashier has given the money as requested by rubina the cashier has given 2000 rupees in terms of 50 and 100 notes and when rubina started counting she has observed totally she has 25 notes as as all together my question or the question given here is how many 50 rupees notes are there how many 100 rupees notes are there so two logics we have to remember right total number of notes are 25 and the total value she demanded is 2000 so and what is the currency we are talking about 50 rupees notes how many we don't know how 100 rupees notes how many 100 rupees notes we don't know so that's the concept deal so here according to the question the two unknowns are how many 50 rupee notes second unknown is how many 100 rupees notes this is the question we know the total value of the currency 2000 total notes we have 25 now let's play with that one so as i have discussed we are dealing with the two concepts here so which are the two concepts so if you go here the concept one right so the concept one is nothing but uh, uh, 50 rupee note that is the first thing rupee 50 note right rupee 50 notes this is the first concept what we are discussing now right rupee 50 note is the first concept now what is the second concept what is the second concept what we are discussing here concept two is nothing but rupee 100 notes so rupee 100 notes is the second concept what we are going to discuss here right so so which are the two concepts we got to know so what how many are there so when we doesn't know we have to connect assume it like as a variable general variables what we use are x and y of course you can use any other variable but generally we use x and y these are the two variables here right now let's let let number of right rupee 50 nodes how many nodes are there we don't know that right let it be x right let the number of 50 notes be x in the same way right 100 rupee note is the second concept but how many 100 rupee notes are there we don't know how many right let right number of rupee 100 notes so as we don't know the concept let it be y okay so the number of 50 rupee notes are x and the number of 100 rupee notes are y all right now so we are done uh, that's those are the two variables now let's think about the two logics or the two values he has given right he has given the total money is required is 2000 
So what does 2000 consist of? Right, it's the combination of 50s and 100s. How many 50 rupee notes and how many? So whatever it might be the mixture, the value of the total notes all together is becoming 2000. So when I'm started thinking like that, now let's generalize the concept generalize what formula what formula is dealing with the total value of the notes what formula so generally if you if you like to build up the formula let's go with the formula here right the formula connecting formula right so formula connecting the currency connecting formula connecting the right value of currency so what's the formula connecting us? So let's go with the formula now, right? That is number of number of rupee 50 notes, right? Times times unit value of the notes. Unit value. Unit value of the notes unit value of the 50 rupee note you can take like that right so this is the formula number of 50 rupee notes times unit value of the 50 rupee note plus plus we are building up we are building up we were walking about working on the 50 rupee note now we got the value the total value but we are not fixed to only 50 rupee note we are we are working on 100 rupee note also now let's go for this right what's that number of rupee 100 notes how many are those times times unit value unit value unit value of rupee 100 unit value equals equals total value total value right so if you think on that if you build on this is the general i like to repeat this one this is the general formula what we are supposed to remember whenever we are dealing with the total value of the currency number of 50 notes number of rupee number of 50 notes and unit value of that note you know the unit value of a 50 rupee note is 50 that's what the value is Right. But here, that's the number of 50 nodes. How many number of 50 nodes are there? We have assumed that we don't know that. That's why we are calling it as X. We have to remember that one. Right. Next, number of class. Why? Because we have to build on. We have to build on. I'm generalizing this formula, right, so that it is not only two type of nodes. If you are having three type of nodes, four nodes, something like that, 50 nodes, 100 nodes, 200 nodes, thousand node two thousand node if you built on like that as many as nodes you have doesn't matter but in this sum we are dealing with only two nodes 50 rupee nodes and 100 rupee nodes therefore i'm building this is the first value this is the second value if you are having many just to build on that one so now let us go with this one this is a formula what he has given all right this is generally formula connecting the value of the currency this is the formula right now now what he has given what he has given let's go to the value what he has given right what he says what he says she has got the total currency if this is the value now now what is the total currency we have total currency right so now total currency right what is the total currency is how much is that rupees 2000 that's clear now which implies if you deal with this formula right number of 50 rupee notes how many 50 rupee notes are there x are there okay x times right unit value of the 50 rupee note what is the unit value of each 50 note what's the value of that currency value it's nothing but 50 plus number of 100 rupee notes how many number of 100 rupee notes are there it's nothing but y times unit value if you take a 100 rupee note what's the value in currency it's nothing but 100 so 100 right is means equals and what's the value it's nothing but 200 here 
All right. As we are dealing with everything in terms of value, value of 50 rupees, what the total value? Here the total value of all the hundred rupee notes, and here it is nothing but the total value of the currency. As we are dealing with all the with value, and not writing in terms of rupees. Why? Because everything is there. Straight away, if you have rupee on both the side, we can straight away cancel like that. Now, if you simplify, this is nothing but 50x plus 100y equals 2000. Okay, now if I take 50 common from here, right, it's nothing but x plus 2y, right, equals 2000, right, I can straight away cancel it up, like uh, x plus 2y is equal to 2000 divided by 50, cancel it out, it's nothing but 14. Okay, okay, right, here x plus 2y x plus 2y equals 14 this is the equation one what i got with the help of the 200 or 2000 value of the currency hope you are able to understand let the number of 50 road notes be x let the number of 100 rupee note be y what's the formula connecting number of rupee 50 notes times number of unit value plus number of rupee 100 notes into the unit value of that note equals the total value of the currency of currency total value of currency right now what he has given what he has given so he has given this one it's given what is given for you total value is 2000 he has given that for you so if i built on number of 50 notes are x and unit value of the teeth nose is 50 from there on i got it now so i got one relation i got one concept now as we are having two variables we need two equations so now i started searching so if you look at the question we have used this one and what is the other uh, concept we has given he has given right right total notes right what is the other given what is the other thing what he has given total notes are total notes are 25 the counting the number of nodes are nothing but 25 are there so what's that total notes that is what does he mean what does he mean what's the meaning of the total notes 100 rupee notes and and 50 rupee notes all together 25 notes are there that is right uh, number of a uh, number of number of i think it's not working so let's go number of uh, rupee 50 notes plus number of 100 notes equals 25 which implies how many number of 50 notes are there 50 notes are x so x plus number of 100 notes how many are there y equals 25 okay so we got equation 1 and equation 2 right i like to build one as equation 2 okay so with the help of the 2000 total value i got the equation 1 and the number of notes whatever it might be i got the equation 2 right we have to solve this problem. so we got the two equations as x plus 2y is equal to 40 and the second equation x plus y is equal to 25 solving the equation you can do any method but the verification conclusion all those matters we have to satisfy the given conditions here so i like to solve this one now solving solving equation one and two equation one and two by something like elimination method that's the simple method what we have right so what are the two methods the first equation is nothing but x plus 2y equals 40 and the second equation what we have is nothing but x plus y equals 25 i like to subtract the procedure as you all know if you are having plus change it as minus if you are having plus change it as minus plus change it as minus now obviously you can cancel out these two and the leftover y is equal to 15 so we got y is equal to 15 that what is y we know it we know it now substituting substituting y is equal to 15 in equation 1 as you all know what's the equation 1 x plus 2y 
equals 14 let's plug in there so x plus 2 into 15 equals 40 so x plus 30 equals 40 so x equals 40 minus 30 i think it's 20 yes 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 it's nothing but minus 30 x equals 10 right so we got the value of x and y but uh, right so but of course i think i uh, hope you are able to see till there now getting the values of x and y is not important verifying the relation matters let's verification right what is the verification what he has given first verification or verification of the relation one so what he says total number of nodes total number of nodes of nodes are 25 okay so as he said x plus y equals 25 now let's figure it out what is the x value it's 10 what's the y value it's 15 yes is it 25 yes 25 is equal to 25 relation 1 is verified relation 1 is or relation i think it's 2 relation 2 is verified yes but we are not uh, satisfied with that one we have to verify the relation one also what's the relation one so verification verification of relation two relation one what's the relation he has given so he is saying that the total value of the currency total value total value value of currency right is how much he has given 2000 that's what rupees 2000 he has given so what we are getting so we are getting as if like uh, uh, 50 nodes right x equals 50 number of 50 rupees nodes are uh, 10 so 50 nodes right how many 50 not we are having like this 50 x plus 100 y is equals 2000 this is the relation what we got okay so what is x what is how many number of uh, 50 rupee notes are there how many it's nothing but 10 so 50 into 10 plus 100 into right something like how many 100 rupee notes are there 15 equals 2000 let us check it out 5 into 10 we are talking about the value 50 it's nothing but 500 plus it's nothing but 1500 it's nothing but 2000 is it correct yes 15 yes it's nothing but 2000 equals 2000 so we have satisfied relation one also now as we have satisfied both now let's write the conclusion so what do you will write we are both going to conclude number of number of what's that a uh, 50 rupee note rupee 50 notes comma x equals how many are there 10 and the number of rupee 100 notes right y equals how many 15 are there hope you are able to understand the back in this channel i have been placing both math and science videos 